I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. Girl, what you think of that? I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the saying that went viral. Like, it ain't even that deep. Right. <laughs> I just know if it came down to it, like, shoot. <laughs> Y'all seen it pretty in me. <laughs> what, what you trying to say? I ain't trying to say nothing. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> we know I ain't the ugly one. Well, it ain't me, so you're going to have to come again. I ain't saying it's you. I'm just saying it most definitely ain't me. Uh, Uno, those only two of us up in here. Who else could it be? Shoot. Well, if it ain't me, who did that leave? It must be somebody outside, so you gonna have to step out my car. Because if it ain't you, it most definitely ain't me. It must be another best friend, so start looking. Say less. Go oh, sit down. Where you gonna go walking in the snow? Oh my gosh, I love your jacket. Where'd you get it? Thank you. Got it from Fashion Nova. Um, what are you, what are you doing? Oh, I was doing sign language. I'm deaf. But you were already speaking to me and you can hear me? Oh no, I actually have a cochlear which helps me hear. Right here. Well then there's no need to sign or anything. You can hear me, right? So you're basically hearing. Um, nope. I'm deaf. I have a cochlear which helps me hear. Oh, I know. But you can hear. So technically you'd be like considered hearing. Oh, okay. Sorry. So you must be deaf. No, I'm hearing. Oh, no, I know, but some deaf people have a cochlear which helps them hear, so technically you could be deaf. Um, no, I'm telling you, I'm hearing. Oh, okay, sorry, I got confused. Since you told me I was hearing after I told you I was deaf, I thought we were telling each other what we are. I guess y'all want to act brand new because y'all got a bigger house than the rest of us. Y'all still ain't shit. You talking awfully a lot of shit from my brand new installed carpet. As a matter of fact, take your shoes from Payless off, please. Fuck you in this carpet. Y'all so fucking uppity, I told my mama not to bring me over here. We told our mama not to let her. Last time you were over here, we accumulated some roaches. Brian, I will fuck you up. Hmm, that has to be the virgin and you talking. We both know your bitch ass couldn't fuck shit. Your mama's a bitch. <clears throat> Call my mama another bitch. Call her another bitch. Uh, Tamika, what's going on? Mama, it was tragic. His face fell into Kyrie's fist. No, that's not what happened. You're right. I forgot to mention you wanted to play truth or dare and dared us to pull our pants down. No, Aunt Tamika, that's not what happened. Evan, I don't know what y'all do at Charles' house, but I don't play that shit here. Aunt Tamika, that's not true. Leave this door open, Brian. Ouch. Saval, you need to tell Mama. Fuck no. Sitting here letting it burn ain't gonna make it go away. There's medication to stop the pain. If I tell Mama, I won't see the medication. I'll be six feet under. Ouch. Tell her. Tell me what? Mama, it burns when I pee. Did you catch something? I think so. <laughs> Mama, that's not funny. Ouch. Looks very painful. Mama, didn't I tell y'all to use condoms? You won't buy us any. Didn't I tell y'all to sniff it before you stick it? You say a lot of things we don't listen to, Mama. Now, can you please take me to the emergency room? Oh, no, I can't do that. I need that to burn until I feel like you've learned your lesson. Mama, please call your daddy and ask him to take you. I would if I knew who he was. I hope your shit falls off. Mama! Hi, honey. Hi, how was work? How was work today? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. How was work? Just okay? Hmm? Okay. I don't want to push you. I don't. But listen, honey, I know you. And the moment you walk through that door, I said something's the matter. Something. A lot to shave down there, but I'm down. I just need some assistance. Listen to me. If you would have asked me, you would have known when I was 11 years old, I worked at a barbershop for three days. I could trim you up real nice. It's going to run you about $13.50, though. Her bush is hanging out like it's the 80s, and I'm not going to stand for that. So if I got to get my hands dirty, I will. You're in the right place, little girl. You're going to use that? Honey, I'm going to part you like the Red Sea. That thing is not going inside of me. You have hair growing inside of you? No, but like the edges. You got to get in there a little. I don't mind doing a little swooperini. Do you want me to lay here? Well, let's do a before and after for Insta. No. Stop. I don't want a before and after. What yes. are you doing? We're doing a little vagine trim. Oh, God. Hey, thanks for dining with us. Uh, it is Tuesday, so kids eat free today. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Oh, wow. 
sure is. So what can I get for you? Well, I'm not really that hungry, so I'm just gonna have a water. Okay. Uh, what about you, Derek? I'm gonna start off with the chicken tenders and the french fries. And I'll have the T-bone steak. Medium well. Loaded baked potato, cornbread, and the quarters light. And then that's everything. Hi, good afternoon. Okay. Maybe you can catch a car. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? Sorry, if you could just speak up a little bit, I have a cochlea or so. I said car! <laughs> what? Can you speak up? I said put the card in! Zero? Not a, no money in the bank. Bankrupt. Okay, you can be real disrespectful. I'm gonna ask to speak to your manager. Okay, let me go get it. She'll be right with you. How can I help you? I can't do it. I can't. I can't. You got this. Just one more push. One more push. <laughs> All right. Here she is. We're going to take it back here. We'll be right back with you. So unfortunately, we've discovered some bad news. Oh my God. What is it? What, what's going on? I really don't know how else to say this, but um, your daughter's deaf. Okay. I know, but what's wrong? What's the bad news? She's, um, she's deaf. I know I heard you the first two times, but if you really could get straight to the bad news, I'm like really worried. And that, that was the bad news. Wait, are you telling me my baby is alive and healthy and your bad news means she's deaf? Well, uh, yeah. Considering she's coming from two deaf parents, there's a high percent chance she's going to be born deaf, which is great news for us. If you wouldn't mind me asking, would you come bearing bad news that the child was born hearing? No. Exactly. Now can I see my healthy baby? So as you know, your brother has decided to conjure up a child. No, mama, no. I knew it. I knew out of all of us, he was gonna be the first one. Mama, please tell me you whooped his ass. Oh, y'all know I handled it. Okay, good, mama. And you ain't ever got to worry about me and Brian doing something like that. For real, mama, we ain't, we ain't stupid like that. That's good to hear. So I guess we can go back to our rooms? No. As you both know, I like tying up loose ends. I'm having a hard time believing that the both of you knew nothing about this. But mama, we didn't. The next lie will result in me fucking both of y'all up. Brian knew mama. Really, Kyrie? How did you know he knew Kyrie? So, um, this is my place. <laughs> you can come. Oh, thank you. Wow, this is a palace. Oh, you can um, have a seat right there. You want any water or anything? Yes, please. But... Yeah, I don't got no more water, but... You know, you, you could move back. Like, you could scoot back on the seat. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. You know, when I said you could sit, I meant, like, on the whole chair. Like, yeah, you good. Yeah, I'm on the whole thing. I'm on the whole thing. But you about I'm... to fall. I'm good. All right. You wanna go in the room? I'm right back. After you.
You, you know, this ain't no twin size bed. You can lay down. You can sit down. Even. I'm good, though. I like this feel. No, but, but, but your cheeks are slipping off the edge of the bed and shit. I yeah, I'm comfy. I'm real comfy. I'm... Mama, before you say anything, that's not mine's or Savon's. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I asked anyone a question. You didn't, but please stop talking. I'm very upset at the moment. I do not wish to get physical just yet. I'm just going to ask, whose is this? It's not ours, Mama. So then it's mine's. I wish it was because I can't get shit with y'all's asses here. Somebody better tell me why Trojan's ass is in my house and I mean now. Mama, it's not ours. Okay. Kyrie. Oh, shit. Yes, ma'am. Do you know who this belongs to? I do, actually. It's mine's. I brought it home from school and put it on a banana for educational purposes. Damn it. I really wanted to fuck y'all up. Next time, though. How much did that just cost us? Everything. Mama, are you approachable? Go ahead. As you know, I'll be turning 18 next week and there will be some changes in this house. My curfew is no longer 10 p.m. It's 2 a.m. I will no longer be responsible for your other two sons when you're not here. I am grown and responsible for myself. I will no longer ask you to go places. I will just be telling you. If you have an issue with me, you can no longer put your hands on me because it then will be considered assault. Is that all? Yep. Well, then I too will be making some changes. Since you will be an adult, you are now responsible for getting yourself to and from school. I don't give rise to adults. Also, I cook for children, not adults. You'll need to get a job. I'll need rent money and light bill money. As for your curfew, you will not be able to gain access to my home after 10 p.m. Me and my children will be sleeping. Where you went is where you will stay. As for me putting my hands on you, as an adult, I will now throw hands with you. And because I am a petty mother, I'll call the cops after and tell them a grown-ass man just put his hands on me. Sounds good? We have a deal? When I get back from the store, y'all's rooms better be cleaned and I want them dishes out of my sink. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Mama, I washed dishes last time. I don't recall inquiring on the last time you've washed dishes. Yes, ma'am. Kyrie, you out of hearing or did you hear what I just said? I hear very well and your other two sons responded, which means you've been heard. You got a smart ass mouth and I know you got it from your damn daddy's side because you ain't get it from mine. Why can't you be more like your brothers? Okay, it's time to snitch. Let's start with Brian. Where were you last night? I saw you sneaking in from the back door at 4 a.m. What? Wow. Oh, I was just hoping Mama's pride and joy and Miracle Baby was going to open his mouth. You want to talk to Mama about why Planned Parenthood called here the other day? Said that you and some girl named Brianna missed your appointment? Wait, Mama, there's more. I didn't mention how one of them caught genital warts and your credit was ran for them to finance some Adidas. So here's your menus. Can I get you guys anything to drink? I'm sorry, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, here. Okay, perfect. Can we both get a refill on the waters, please? Oh, <laughs> you you speak. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you can hear too? Yep. <laughs> hear and speak. It's just you wasn't able to do that earlier, so it's kind of confusing. <laughs> well, I have a cochlear, so it helps. Oh, so how does that work? I'd like to know which one of you sneaky fucks drank my cranberry juice. Am I talking to myself or do I have to start swinging? Now, you know I would not touch your shit, Savon. Kyrie? What? Did you drink my cranberry juice? I didn't, but I want to know what was going to happen if I did. The fuck did you? Yes or no, you fucking psycho? If I say yes, what's going to happen? You're going to get your ass beat. That's what's going to happen. Can you say it again for the people in the back? Kyrie, I'm going to beat your ass if you touch my shit. Savon, I know you ain't out here threatening my baby. Mama, he drank my cranberry juice. I drank it. Come beat my ass. Come here. Do what you said you was going to do to my baby. All right, Mama. Yeah, okay.
Who took my jacket out of my closet? I guess I got to pop off to get a response, huh? Kyrie, you ain't pop shit all year. Go sit your ass down somewhere before you get jumped. Oh, mama would love that. Savon, did you touch my fucking jacket? You come over here with that shit, it's going to be different. I'm not in the fucking mood for you today, Kyrie. Oh, that's how y'all coming. So nobody going to tell me where my jacket is. Bet. What the fuck? going on in here mama they just hit me and spit on me you gotta be fucking kidding me Kyrie why did I receive a phone call from your teacher earlier I don't know she said she told you to stop talking while she was teaching and you told her to shut her fat neck having ass up and to go eat a fucking snickers <laughs> oh that's funny mama he gives Miss platypus problems all the time you'll regret that Brian, did I ask you for any extra information? Kyrie, you better start talking or I'm going to get in that ass. Mama, there was no reason for me to say what I said. I am so sorry. There's nothing I can say to justify me disrespecting that lady. As punishment, I give you my phone and I won't be playing my game for a week. Don't let it happen again. It won't. Hell no, nah, mama. Hell no. Nah. Beat his ass. Who the fuck are y'all talking to like that? He's sitting right over there. Objection. Your Honor, my client uses the singular they, them pronoun. I ask that all of us respect that. He looks like a he. Because that's what you think a he looks like. Jax is Jax, neither male nor female as you define it. But they, them, it's confusing. We do it all the time, Your Honor. I found someone's lost dog. I can't wait to call them. They will be so happy. That someone is Jax. Gonna wreak havoc on the transcript, but that will be sustained. The court respects the defendant's identity. Miss Stinglebear, I love your blouse. Where'd you get it? <gasps> Hold that thought. Excuse me. Is that skirt fingertip blink? Let me see. Mm -mm. No, it's not. Do you have a jacket that can go around all of that to cover all of that? You don't. Okay. Excuse me. Well, pull out your cellular device and see if you can call your mom and dad. And if you don't have a phone, you can use my phone and see if they can bring you an extra pair of clothes because this is violating our dress code. Did you know that? Mm. You didn't. Well, it is. And if they don't answer, you can come in my room and I'll write you a pass before we do our homework. And then you can go to the front office and they'll give you something because that's not acceptable. 911, what's your emergency? Help, my daughter is stuck in the car. Have you tried opening the door? I can't, I locked my keys in the car. Have you tried telling your daughter to open the door? She can't, she's only seven months. <laughs> you locked your baby inside of a car? It was an accident, I just had to get into the store real quick. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what to do, are you listening? Yes ma'am, thank you. All right. Put your hands behind your back because your ass getting arrested. I, I think I filled it all out. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I was just like, there was a girl that gave me this and I just assumed she was going to be the one to do it. <laughs> so, but I'm, no, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm good with all of this. <laughs> like, are you a model? Like, is this a marketing scheme? What the hell? <laughs> because I'll be back if that's what this is. <laughs> it's working. <gasps> My God. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, I finished filling it all out. Just make sure you can read my number in case you want to call me. No, I know they're going to call me, but in case you do, separately. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, okay. Yes, I'm ready. I'm, I've been, like, trying to imagine it, and I don't know how it's going to go. So just take it slow. You're the first person that's penetrated me in over six months. So <laughs> you get that award. <laughs>